Miracy. Once there were three brothers who loved adventure. One day they decided to go on a journey, each one to a different country, and to meet again on a certain day ten years later. Each brother was to bring back with him an unusual gift. Hi, I'm Lisa Bloom, the Story Coach, and you're listening to Once Upon a Business. In each episode, we explore a story, a fairy tale, folk tale, or traditional story, so that we can discover the amazing lessons relevant for business and for entrepreneurs. The oldest brother decided to go to the east. When he arrived in a certain eastern town, he was fascinated by what he saw there. Magicians, dancing girls, jugglers, and acrobats were everywhere. As the brother was watching the entertainment, he saw one magician hold up a magic glass through which he could see to the distant corners of the kingdom. Ah, thought the oldest brother, I would like to have that glass, for that would certainly be an unusual object to share with my brothers. He asked the magician, Tell me, how much is that glass? I should like to buy it from you. At first, the magician would not part with his magic glass, but after much pleading by the older brother and some bargaining, they agreed upon a price and the magician sold the glass to the oldest brother. The second brother travelled to a country in the west. Wherever he went, he kept his eyes open and his mind as well. He was always on the lookout for the most unusual gift he could bring back to his brothers. One day, he was attracted by the cries of an old carpet seller who called out, Carpets for sale! Beautiful! Wonderful! Carpets here! The brother approached the carpet seller and began to examine his carpets when suddenly he saw the carpet at the bottom of the pile begin to move. It seemed to be moving by itself. What kind of carpet is this one? he asked, pointing to the bottom one which was quite visible by then. The old merchant motioned for him to bend down and whispered in his ear, This is a magic carpet. Buy it and it will take you anywhere you want to go, and quickly too. The second brother and the carpet seller finally settled upon a price, and the brother took the magic carpet with him, satisfied that he had a most unusual gift. The youngest brother went south, and when he arrived in a certain country, he travelled far and wide to see what he could find to bring back to his brothers. Now this was a country noted for its many forests. One day... The youngest brother was walking in a grove of trees when he noticed something strange. A tree that was of a different shape from the hundreds of other trees around it. It was covered with orange-red blossoms and it was so beautiful. As the younger brother came closer, he saw that there was only one red pomegranate on the tree. This is strange indeed, thought the young man. A pomegranate tree with only one pomegranate. He approached the tree slowly, laughing to himself and thinking of the story he would tell his brothers about the pomegranate tree full of blossoms with only one fruit on it. As he reached for the pomegranate, it fell into his hand, even before he could pluck it from the branch. As soon as that happened, another pomegranate burst from one of the blossoms. When the brother saw this, he looked at the pomegranate in his hand and said to himself, This must be a magic pomegranate. It was the only one on the tree, and yet as soon as it fell into my hands when I was about to reach for it, a new pomegranate appeared suddenly. What kind of magic does it perform, I wonder? The youngest brother examined the pomegranate, marvelling at its beauty. The shape is so perfect, he thought, crowned with the crown of King Solomon. He walked away from the tree looking at his mysterious new treasure. When he looked back to see the pomegranate tree once more, It was no longer there. It had disappeared. Now I know this is a magic pomegranate, and so this is what I will bring to my brothers. Ten years passed, and when the three brothers met as they had planned, they embraced with delight. They eagerly showed each other the unusual objects they had brought back from their journeys. The older brother said, Let me look through my glass and see what I can see. When he held up the glass, he saw in a far-off kingdom a young princess lying ill in her bed, near death. Quickly, dear brothers, get on my magic carpet and we'll fly there, said the second brother. In what seemed like seconds, the three brothers arrived at the far-off kingdom. 
In the royal palace of this kingdom, the king, whose daughter lay ill, was grief-stricken. He had sent for every doctor in the country to cure the princess, but they had all failed, and there was no hope left for the princess. Finally, the king had sent a messenger throughout the country, saying, Whoever can save my daughter, the princess, will have her hand in marriage and half the kingdom. As if in a dream, the youngest brother heard a voice whisper inside him, The pomegranate. The youngest brother approached the king and asked, May I try to cure the princess? The king agreed and led the young man to the princess's chambers. When the young man saw the princess, he approached quietly and sat by her side. Then he took the pomegranate from his pocket, cut it open with gentle care, carefully cut each kernel from its place, and then fed the juicy red kernels to the princess. In a few moments, the princess felt stronger and the color returned to her cheeks. Soon, she sat up in her bed, fully restored to health. The king was overjoyed. He hugged his daughter, and turning to the three young men, he announced, The man who saved my daughter will marry her. The three brothers began to quarrel, each one claiming to be the one who should marry the princess. The oldest brother said, If it were not for my magic glass, we would never have known the princess was ill in the first place, so since I discovered this first, I deserve to marry the princess. But brothers, it was because of my magic carpet that we could arrive so quickly, argued the second brother. Otherwise, the princess would have died. I deserve to marry the princess. Then the youngest brother said, It was my magic pomegranate that actually healed the princess. I deserve to marry her. Since the three brothers could not decide which one should marry the princess, the king tried to decide. He looked at the three clever young men, but he could not decide who deserved to marry his daughter. The king finally turned to the princess and said, Who do you think deserves to marry you, my daughter? The princess answered simply, I will ask each one of them a question. She turned to the oldest brother and asked, Has your magic glass changed in any way since you arrived in this kingdom? No, replied the oldest brother, my glass is the same as always, and I can look through it and see to every corner of this kingdom. The princess then asked the second brother, has your magic carpet changed in any way since you arrived in this kingdom? And the second brother answered, No, my carpet is the same, and I can fly anywhere on it, as always. Turning to the youngest brother, the princess asked, Has your magic pomegranate changed in any way since you arrived in this kingdom? And the youngest brother answered, Yes, princess, my pomegranate is no longer whole, for I gave you a portion of it. The princess turned to the three young men and said, I will marry the youngest brother because he performed the greatest good deed, because he gave up something of his own. The brothers and the king all understood the wisdom of the princess. A lavish wedding was arranged for the princess and the youngest brother, and the king appointed the princess and all three brothers to become his royal advisers. This is a story by Panina Shram. I find this story really satisfying. It takes us on a huge adventure with these three brothers and then has them go on an adventure together, able to cure the princess and presumably live happily ever after. And there are some interesting themes that run through the story. Sacrifice, curiosity, generosity, and adventure. But actually, I think this story is about love. It starts with this wonderful, generous relationship between the brothers. They set out in the world to travel and explore, but with the purpose of delighting each other. It's only after the princess is healed that they quarrel over her, but even then they don't fight, they just can't decide who should marry her. It feels to me like their relationship stays strong and close. I would love to think that this kind of relationship exists in business. More often than not, I've seen partners who struggle to work together even family members, but perhaps taking a leaf from the brothers, we can learn to work together, to delight in each other and collaborate on projects, just like the brothers did when they used their special gifts to find and heal the princess. We all have special gifts, and pulled together, we can achieve so much more than we can separately. The story also speaks to sacrifice. The princess asks the question of each of the brothers, has the glass, the carpet, 
and the pomegranate changed since they used them to find, reach, and heal her? It's a wise question. Have the gifts changed may mean have you changed? And only the younger brother did. The other brothers sought delights of power to see far and to travel far, but the younger brother brought back a mystery. He had no idea what he had or what the pomegranate could do, but he was open both to mystery and to change. And I think that was what the princess truly wanted. The princess is right that his was the greater good deed. Perhaps her real wisdom is an understanding that facing a marriage to one of three men she doesn't know, the wise choice is the one who has demonstrated that he will give of himself to help others. And she can assume that he would give to her, including giving her his heart. I think the gifts in this story, the items that the brother finds in their travels are super interesting and relevant for business. The oldest brother finds the magic glass through which he can see the entire kingdom. So he has vision. We need someone in our business that has vision and that can see possibility and know how to guide us to the right opportunity. Just as the brother sees the princess. The second brother has the magic carpet. This is the vehicle that gets them from where they are to where they want to be. In every business, we need someone who can get us to our destination, provide the means through which we reach where we need to go. And then there's the youngest brother. He has the magic pomegranate. This is the cure, the transformation. It's interesting, in Judaism, the pomegranate is a very important fruit. It symbolizes love and fertility on the one hand. And this makes sense. Remember, the youngest brother sits by the princess's bed, opens the fruit with his knife and feeds her the juicy red kernels. Does this not sound fertile and full of gentleness, the gentleness of love? The pomegranate is mentioned in many Jewish texts. They say that every fruit has 613 kernels, which is the number of commandments in the Bible. So it symbolizes knowledge, wisdom, and the very tenets of living a good life according to Jewish beliefs. The fruit is celebrated and eaten at the most holy of days, the Jewish New Year. And so we have the magic pomegranate. It sounds pretty magic to me. From a business perspective, perhaps our ability to transform our clients using knowledge and wisdom, but also love, is our very own special brand of magic. I'm Lisa Bloom, and you've been listening to Once Upon a Business. You can find out more about me at story-coach.com. That's story-coach.com. Once Upon a Business is part of the Miracy FM podcast network, which also includes such shows as Making It and Behind the Launch. To catch the great episodes that are coming up on Once Upon a Business, please like and follow us on Miracy FM's YouTube channel or your favorite podcast player. And if you enjoyed the show, please leave us a comment or a starred review. It's the best way to help us get these ideas to more people. Thank you. We'll see you next time.